Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look, I talk about Dubai real estate, your and my life and our path to financial bliss. Now, I've been approached by some of my investors and they've asked me, look, how is Dubai reacting? How is the UAE in general facing up to the sea outbreak and the situation globally, right? Uh, there's a lot of news reports out there. I don't want to delve too much on the negative, but what I want to actually reiterate and get out there to just not the investors who've approached me, but also to others um, with regards to Dubai and how the business is operating. Because they'll see reports. Um, I recently saw a report. I don't know if this is true or not, if or if it was an actual survey taken. But a certain, but it, the report basically essentially said that a certain number of businesses expect to go out of business in a certain amount of time, so on and so forth. I want to re reiterate something. Look, Dubai and largely the UAE is run like a country, but the leadership's focus is very much on how it performs in terms of business, how the people who are living here perform in terms of business, how it adds value, not just to the residents and the citizens who are living in the country, but also globally. The leadership is very astute and economically sharp, right? I don't want to bring this into. Uh, I want to let me let me let me say this right. Uh, when oil prices were suffering for the last four to five years, I personally think that the UAE, with its research and development, its focus and investment on research and development, and moving its economy away from just a dependence on oil, was the first in terms of reacting. But not just reacting; they have been prepared for a long time. So even though we've had oil prices going up and down and the volatility for four to five years, maybe even six years now, the UAE and the Dubai market has adapted pretty decently, okay? Now, I'm not saying that there's been no effects. Yes, there's been effects in the economy, but the UAE government and the Dubai government have taken the necessary steps. Number two, the Dubai leadership, specifically speaking, is very business-oriented. So you'll see they're going to be taking the necessary steps to ensure the businesses have a soft cushion landing uh, that might be stimulus packages into the economy that might be fees that are or that are uh, written uh, written uh, off that might be other things that you will see that the, that Dubai government is going to be putting in place to make sure that businesses in the economy not just survive but then go back on a path to thriving okay that's number one number two something that's really uh, been um, it's been like this it's it's the stark reality that hit home right so Dubai is an amalgamation of 200 plus nationalities that live here as expat residents okay there's a core local citizen population and then everybody else is sort of like the expat residents that live over here and they make up of the majority of the population or what we saw during the sea outbreak was the uae government and then and then each emirate dubai uae sharjah Ajman, so on and so forth step up to take care of everybody the citizens the residents, even the ones who were not residents and were just in the country as tourists or looking for jobs. Healthcare was provided for free. They were made to feel as if it was their second home away from home. And I think that that is, in a very globalized, social media-fueled world, is going to change a lot of people the way they do business in Dubai. Dubai is has given back to the people who you, who were calling Dubai home. And I think that people who are living here and are still based over here are going to take um, this place in a different way to, to, to help them do business in a different way, to help them grow in a different way because this place has welcomed them and not just welcomed them, but also taken care of them during this time of crisis. And I think people... Uh, they're going to pay back not just in gratitude but also in other ways that's going to add good value for everybody not just Dubai but everybody who's over here those are my two cents so look Dubai is very business oriented they're going to take steps to ensure that business stays on track uh, secondly everybody in the UAE has been welcomed and taken care of and that's not going to be forgotten by the people uh, who are really you know dependent 
on that kind of care for healthcare. Otherwise, there's many stories uh, that bring tears to the eyes of how well the UAE government has responded in this time of crisis. And kudos to them. And we thank God for, uh, for this blessing. Uh, and we hope to continue, right? So we look forward. Things will be interesting, so to speak. But hey, look, necessities, the mother of all invention. Hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, uh, specifically in real estate in Dubai, uh, hit me up on WhatsApp. If you've got a general question, you can put it in the comment section or again, hit me up on WhatsApp and I'll be happy to respond to you. Take care, ciao for now. Bye-bye.